There are pros and cons when it comes to doing business with China. While the Trump administration is threatening tariffs, Governor Walker and a trade delegation recently returned home to Alaska after spending about 10 days in China trying to increase trade. Now, while in Beijing, I sat down with U.S. Ambassador to China, Terry Branstad. Before accepting his new role, he was the longest serving governor in U.S. history, developing a trade relationship with China during his first term as Iowa's governor back in 1983. We talked about the current trade climate, the importance of playing the long game when it comes to China, and Alaska's approach to increasing trade. Well, Alaska has some advantages, just geographically, being closer to China from that perspective. Also, you have some of the resources that China really needs. And consequently, uh, by spending the time, and I know your governor has been here three times in the last year, that can really help build the relationship. So it's really an, an area of friendship and trust that improves your chances of being successful because they know that you're not just in it for the short term, you're in it for the long term. And in this culture, long term of friendships and relationships are really important. My first trip here in 84 is like going back in time. Everybody's riding bicycles, no tall buildings. And now you see the tremendous development and growth that's occurred here. And with that, of course, there's opportunities. With a growing middle class, they want more protein. So this is an opportunity for meat and fish and things like this. Uh, they they want to reduce the air pollution problem with their industrialization, with the tremendous amount of uh, coal that are burning here. And, and, and now with all the automobiles, they have some real pollution problems that need to be addressed. We can help them address those issues and at the same time uh, meet some of the needs that Alaska and other states have. There are uh, obstacles and challenges to be faced, but uh, uh, I, I, considering this huge uh, country with all of the 1.4 billion people, and a growing middle class, I, th I think uh, we need to try to increase our exports and reduce the trade deficit that way. Their system is much different than ours, and uh, there's a lot of non-trade barriers that you need to overcome. So you need to be very clear-eyed and thoughtful in the way this is approached. But I think it's got great potential, and it's always going to have its ups and downs, but hopefully we're in a period now where uh, some of the friction that we've seen recently uh, has the potential of uh, being resolved. Welcome to Shanghai. Uh, my honor to meet you. Thank you. These are the two biggest economies in the world and there's always going to be some friction but I as governor uh, establish a relationship here real early and, and we just built on that and it's been tremendously successful. Now, since beginning his post as U.S. Ambassador to China in 2017, Branstad says his top priorities have been focusing on the denuclearization of Korea, reducing fentanyl and other synthetic opioids from coming into the United States, and speaking out for the fairness and reciprocity in trade with China. Blake Essig, Channel 2 News.